What does high score mean? New high score, is that bad? What does that mean? Does I break it? Hello everyone and welcome to Veteran Gaming Raid Shadow Legends. I am Aaron and today we are getting our free legendary hero. That's right, the Chronicler Adlin. God, I'm hoping I'm saying that right. Chronicler Adolin is now an official member of the team. Uh, let's see. Encourage others to post, share a post. Yeah, sure. We can do that. Uh, we'll do that later. We'll throw this right back up. That's not too shabby. Get some free stuff just from posting. Um, all right. Let's pull this girl up and talk about her because I've seen on uh, Reddit and social media, it seems like there's kind of a lot of hate and not a lot of love right now for the good chronicler so let's figure out uh what she has going on for her her skills let's see on the a1 attacks one enemy has a 50 percent which will book up to a 75 percent chance transferring one random debuff from this champion to the target also has a 50 percent chance of stealing a random buff from the target all right uh nothing too special there honestly only a 75 percent chance i don't love uh, on both so I don't know not really loving that and it books five times all right on number two here restores 25% of each allies destroyed max HP then heals all allies by 25% of this champion's max HP that's pretty cool that's very helpful for a new account and it does book up to what 45% and goes down to three turn cooldown that's pretty good healing getting back the max HP is pretty massive too all right She's sleepy. She's talking about sleepy stuff on the A3. Has a 75% chance, which will book up to 100, of placing a sleep debuff on the target for one turn. Also has a 75% chance of placing a big decrease speed debuff and a 50% decrease attack debuff on the target for two turns. All right, so that's going to buff up to 100% chance of a big decrease speed and a decrease attack for two turns on what will go to a three turn cooldown. Debuff placed by the skill will ignore any block debuff buff. That's pretty huge too. I don't hate that. I mean, you got to have the books for it. Don't get me wrong. But on a three turn cooldown when it's fully booked, two out of three turns, you're going to have a... Because it books up to 100%. And it ignores block debuffs. You're going to always have decreased speed well i'm sorry always 66 percent of the time you're gonna have decreased speed and decreased attack on the target really i think the only bummer on that is it's a one hitter if that were an aoe that would probably be just wildly overpowered because that's pretty sweet with it just being a one turn i don't know i don't love it because you're all ah, i don't know i mean what sleep but you're decreasing the speed and attack. I'm, I don't know. It's kind of nice because they're going to sleep longer because of decreased speed. But like the decreased attack for two turns. Well, one of the turns they're asleep. So how much does that even really help? I don't know. What's our what's our passive here? Allies, uh, allies deal 3% more damage to the targets for each debuff placed on them by this champion. I mean, okay. So you're maybe getting three here and then maybe one there if you're transferring. So that's not really, what, 12% more? I don't know. And that's the Ascension. Okay. Accuracy in all battles. I, I mean, so here's the thing for me as what is essentially an early game player here. Um, this will definitely help my banner lords in faction wars other than that i don't really know where i'm gonna use her especially because she's force affinity which i kind of already have quite a bit of force affinity because i did pull prism shards during the force event so for me like i already have a doom priest i have a mordecai i'm still working on we got Sinesha. not to mention uh who's my other one down here I thought I had another one. I actually have another Doom Priest. Maybe I don't have another one. But we we have some other... And, then, you know, Harima. We got good Force options. So, she is a Force healer, which is nice. But I can kind of see why a lot of people aren't uber impressed by this kit right away. I don't know. It'll be kind of interesting. I'm obviously going to build her up to 60. She is a legendary hero. And she is definitely going to help in the faction wars if for nothing else than this big old heal 
The debuffs don't hurt, but it's just, I don't think she's doing enough with them. The fact that it's only one target, I don't know. But she is a support, so you're going to have to build her with a ton of HP to get the most out of her here. Because that's what her heal and uh, restoring of max HP, destroyed max HP, is based on. So it's going to be yet another support champion that you're going to be building with speed, accuracy, and uh, HP. Which I just, like, I'm getting burned out on that gear. I don't have enough of it. Everybody... Everybody seems to need HP, accuracy, and speed. So while I don't like I don't necessarily hate her, I don't know how much use I'm gonna get. Like I can't really think of a single place I'm going to use her off the top of my head other than faction wars, because she's definitely not going into arena. Tag team arena, maybe. I don't even know where I'd place her because I got, you know, like Maneater and I just built up Kafru, who has unkillable buff and a taunt, which is real nice. Buy some time for Arena Nukers to get rolling. Um, I don't know. I just, I, I, I kind of, I, I don't know even what to say. Like, I understand why she's getting some hate, but at the end of the day, she's still a free legendary hero. And she does have some interesting abilities. She is going to help, especially in Faction Wars for a newer account. Other than that, we'll have to see. If I come up with an absolutely amazing place to use her, I'll make sure I let everybody know. As of right now, I just don't know if that amazing place exists yet. So we'll figure it out. If somebody has some feedback, be like, hey, this is the place to use her. She's going to absolutely smash in this event. Please put it in the comments section down below. That way, everybody that checks out this video has a chance to learn and has a chance to improve their account. The more knowledge we can spread, the better, obviously. That's part of why I'm doing this, not only to help me, but to have help everybody that watches the video. So if you have the ideas, leave them in the comments section down below. If you enjoy the video, please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss upcoming content. And as always, have fun. Good luck. So I got that going for me, which is nice.